So, I decided when we started making Grand Tour that I had to go out and change that and learn how to do it properly. One option would be to go to a supermarket car park on a Saturday night. But instead, I came here, to France. Specifically to the top secret Ledoux test centre, where Michelin develops its tyres. There are several reasons why I'm here. First, they have the space. 27 miles of test tracks and skid pans. Second, if you want to understand drifting, you have to understand tyres. And this place is a tyre temple. Third, and most important, if you want to know about tyres, you have to know how to drift. And that is where this chap comes in. His name is Jerome Hasler, and he is Michelin's chief tyre tester for BMW, Porsche, Ferrari and Bugatti. Rubber compound runs through his veins. He is a Zen master of grip, a kung fu panda of drifting. And I am to be his new pupil. For us, drifting uh, is more serious because when we evaluate uh, tyre performances, uh, especially, we need to evaluate the performances not before the limit or on the limit, like uh, in racing, but uh, over the limit. This is what he means by over the limit. He uses power to kick the back of the car out of line. And then a delicate balance of throttle and steering to keep it there. Your steering wheel technique is amazing. I play a lot with the gas pedal. And if you work a lot with the gas, you have nothing to do with the steering. You can do all in with one hand like this. So you're, you're steering the car with your right foot? Yes. Jerome, this is brilliant that I learned how to do this because you read those lists on the internet of things that women appreciate in a man, don't you? And there's always honesty, integrity, loyalty, fidelity, drifting. It's always there. On that note, it was time for me to begin my lesson. You can perhaps put the seat more... More what? More close to the steering wheel. What are you trying to say? OK, so... Here we go. Voking over steer, coming off, and then feeding, no, and then going round in a small circle. My challenge was to drift the car for one complete lap. Gas, over steer, gas. release gas, counter release steer. Release gas, counter steer. Off spot. OK. Gas, 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 gas. Oh, bugger. Soon the constant spinning started to have an effect on my teacher. A little bit more power. No. Yeah, off the gas. This is weird. I thought this would be so easy. OK, it's, it's possible to take uh, air, fresh air. Yeah. Because I, I will be ill in two minutes. <laughs> is this going badly? While Jerome went off to say hello to his breakfast, I continued plugging away. Begin power, begin counter steer immediately. Now hold it. And soon it started to click. What I am doing is drifting, there's no denying that. Oh, yes, yes. I've connected the steering wheel, my feet. This is a whole new feeling. This is not reacting to a slide. This is deliberately provoking it and keeping it right on the point. Ha ha, Jérôme, you French drift and ski instructing dude, you. He'll be impressed with this. And he was. 
so we immediately progressed to the next level. Just before we start, Jerome, are you going to make this look really annoyingly easy? Yeah, you are. Okay. He did. This is called transitioning. Drifting the car one way and then the other. Get it right and it's almost balletic. That is beautiful. From that to that, seamlessly. Which sadly couldn't be said of what followed. Oh, oh break. No. Break, break, break. Oh, no bollocks. BMW know we're using their car. I don't think so. Okay. Eventually, though. Yeah! Yeah, that was the transition. Your first. By the end of the day, I really had got it mastered. I've become, for the first time, a driving god. <laughs>